president has been a failure when it comes to foreign policy. Let me the failure by the Obama administration to close the deal. I think uh, it's a serious mistake. Or they decided that it wasn't that important, uh, politically or otherwise. The problem is we've, we've put a lot of deposit into this situation with Iraq. And to think that we are so disrespected and they, they have so little fear of the United States that there would be nothing that we would gain from this. That's why I've called on President Obama to return to the negotiating table. Obama has been in office now for two and a half years, three and a half years, and he's had plenty of time to be able to deal with this situation. And of course, uh, events change on the ground. This decision seems to me that it, it was more politically based than military based. Israel has been thrown under the bus by this president. His standing in the state of Israel is very low. The Iranians don't fear us at all. They're trying to attack us here at home. Don't forget, the president has put us into two additional wars. One is Libya, and the, the, the recent one was at the request of Uganda, and we're now in Central Africa. One thing that we should have learned in the last 12 years is that once we are involved in a foreign involvement, in a foreign entanglement, it's very difficult to get out. Secretary Gates is the one who said that America had no vital interest in Libya. We've got a jobs problem. We've got a national security problem that's growing by the day. The first American prisoner of war to be rescued from hostile territory since World War II. The headline in the Washington Post, she was fighting to the death. In it, Private First Class Lynch is portrayed as a kind of Rambo. The source, U.S. officials. Welcome to the Daily Show, ladies and gentlemen. Last night, uh, uh, we had some actual, real live good news in the damn war, no matter how you look at it. Some crazy, daring commando raid in Iraq, and they pulled out uh, a 19-year-old Marine that had been in a hospital, they rescued her. You can't go wrong with that. That's just, there's nothing wrong with that. And the casting for the Lifetime movie about it starts <laughs> now. With that, I'll take your questions. Tom. Brooks, uh, <clears throat> we noticed that uh, you made no mention of the rescue of Jessica Lynch and the special operations that went on. We understand that there is video taken by a combat camera team can you show us that video? Uh, we did have the opportunity to have a combat camera crew with the assault force, and we'll show you only the portion that has a PFC Lynch being retrieved. Uh, do we have the tape? Incredibly, the cassette was already queued in the VCR. It was, in the... it was here she lay suffering from two broken legs, a broken arm, and multiple gunshot wounds, being treated not by a doctor, but by an Iraqi pharmacist. those windows go out to her. It's okay, it's okay. You know? as Americans to bring back our fellow soldiers, uh, but most importantly is to bring back somebody like Private First Class Lynch who was risking her life on the battlefield. Leach has been suspended after complaints from receiver Adam James and his family about treatment after a concussion. The school is investigating. James is the son of former NFL player and current TV analyst Craig James. James' family released a statement to the AP identifying Adam as the player involved. Um, delicate situation. Uh, our family really is, is trying to support Adam right now through this. We, we admire him for the courage that it's taken for him to step forward with this. Uh, it, you know, he sustained a concussion a couple of weeks ago. The doctor did diagnose him with a concussion. I've got two kids who go to school at Texas Tech. We love Texas Tech. It's just about doing what's right. And, uh, and the actions have been taken by Texas Tech University. Uh, it's a very serious matter, uh, and they are continuing their uh, investigation into the situation. And I do have total confidence that Texas Tech... Uh, we'll be fair, they will be thorough, which is all we can ask for, and I'm hopeful that Adam and his teammates will be safe in the future. Everybody knows me as an ESPN guy and a football guy, but I'm a dad. And when my wife and I heard about it the first time, we had no idea how to respond. 
The second time it came to us, we really wanted to protect, help protect Adam uh, from further uh, things that could go against him. Uh, it's just, it, this is not common sense. Craig, are we missing something? Uh, has something been left out of the story? Has anything else happened to your son on that day in question? No, I think, I think all of the reports that ESPN have been putting out there have been accurate. Uh, you know, it, it is an ongoing investigation. Uh, we believe as a family that Texas Tech will be fair, they will be thorough, they're going to do what's right to protect